Hi everyone, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melody and welcome. In today's video, I stopped off at Bath & Body Works so that we could get a good up close look at some of these items that they've put out for Halloween. I do want to let you guys know that this store that I went to, they did not have all of the items. More specifically, they did not have the snake the, for the perfume spray holder. I, I think that's the item that everyone's really after this year. And I did ask one of the employees and she told me that they did not receive that item. I'm just curious, has anyone else run into that problem when they've gone into the store? They also didn't have a few of the other items, such as some of the um, the hand sanitizer holders, like the little skeleton guy. I did not see that one in my store. I had hoped I would be able to go into Bath & Body Works today and not have to do a voiceover, but man, I have got to tell you guys, they love to play their music so loud that it was pretty much impossible. What do you guys think about the display this year? I absolutely love it. I love that it looks kind of like a spooky house. I love the windows and the pretty sparkly bats. Do you think that they let the employees take those home at the end of the season? I wonder. All right guys, here it is. The $250 Haunted Luminary. Luminary? I hope I said that right. I actually really like it, however, there is no way I would pay $250 for it. Also, I was speaking to another customer there and she was saying that she felt it looked a little too delicate for her household, you know, the area with the skeletons there, and those arms definitely look like they'll break off, that's for sure. You gotta be very gentle with it, I'm guessing. How about these? I thought these were pretty nice as well. I tried to zoom, well, I tried to get in close so you can get a good idea at the, you know, the ornate detailing on it. And I felt like they did a pretty good job on that. And actually, I think it would have been pretty nice if you could actually put your own picture in there. I know, I'm asking a lot, but that would have been pretty cool. Oh my goodness, look at this bat. Okay, I actually really liked that bat. I thought he was very sparkly and very pretty. And here's that carriage that everyone's really excited about. I was lucky, my store actually had the carriage snow globe and that one will be coming up very shortly. Now, as for this item, I had heard other people saying that they felt it was a little flimsy and I don't know if I'd say that, but it definitely wasn't quite like the, you know, the creepy hands they've had in the past, but 
I don't, I don't think it was worth $70, that's for sure. I thought it was really nice. I love how it's, you know, everything swirled inside the actual globe itself. And I thought that the hands looked pretty good too. But no, definitely not for $70. Then, but that is my personal opinion. I know I'm showing this snow globe quite a bit, but I wanted you to get a good look at the detailing on it. It's actually very pretty. Isn't that beautiful the way it does that? But um, yeah, I just felt like maybe we can catch this one 50% off later. I did want to get a close-up of the hands right here to show you the seam that you'll be seeing. I don't think it's terrible, but I did want to show that to you and point it out. All right, they've got that cute little sparkly ghost. Look at him. Isn't he the sweetest? <laughs> So what do you guys think about this ghost carriage? I absolutely love it. I wish I would have brought it home, but I didn't. Oh, it's another one of those items I'm like, fingers crossed, maybe I can get it for 50% off or at least 40, right? We'll see. I thought this was very pretty. I went ahead and slowed it down so that you could get a better look at it in detail. I thought it was, it kind of reminded me actually like a snowflake, but with skulls in it. But I thought it was actually very pretty. I honestly contemplated buying the candle just for that. All right, we have to talk about this guy. I absolutely love him. 
Now I did, I was talking again with someone else in the store and she mentioned how she didn't like the crown. I actually don't mind the crown, but I was trying to figure out how I could remove it. So like if I didn't want it with the crown, you know, I could kind of, you know, I was just trying to figure out how I could change my options a bit. It looks like it's really stuck on there good. This snake on the lid of this midnight spell, that is really something. I actually really like this. It's one of those things, you know, if it goes on sale, I might get it or clearance. Fingers crossed, hopefully. This candle holder here I really like, however, I just, I felt like $35 might be a bit too much for it. I don't know, what do you guys think? I really do like how the spider kind of dangles underneath there, so that's pretty cool. This coffin, I really loved this. So there's a little bit more footage of this than there probably should be, but I really wanted you to see the detailing on it. It has the hands there, the roses, that spider the, with the cobwebs and all the detailing. I really thought this was very pretty. This would have been nice if there could have possibly been maybe a larger version of it somehow, some way. Oh my gosh, yes, like a candle holder that's big enough, but you put the candle behind the coffin and you can see the skeleton glow through. I don't know, I'm rambling now, but something like that. Bath and Body Works, are you listening? Okay, this guy here, look at him. Those roses are just so pretty, oh my gosh. Okay, and this fun little kitty cat. <laughs> that was hard for me to say no to. It really, really was. <laughs> the 
the gold clock. I'm really not sure just how I feel about it. What do you guys think? I, I it's like I like it, but I'm just not sure. This rose, I had heard other people saying they felt it looked cheap, but I personally didn't feel that when I saw it in the store. I actually felt like it, it seemed like it was a good quality item. And I really love how the roses, you can actually see the, the petals at the top of the candle holder. They didn't leave that flat. And the candle seems to be standing on it pretty well. Here's another item I'm wishing I would have picked up. Has anyone tried their bath bombs? How would you compare it to the Lush bath bombs? Because I really do like the Lush bath bombs. Oh my gosh, here's another item. I know I'm, I'm talking so much in this video, I'm so sorry. But this, I'm regretting not buying it. I love it so much. It actually makes like a spooky sound and then that candle flickers. I think I'm gonna go back with that because I actually, I earned enough reward points that I reward points that I get a, a free item up to $16.95 and I think that's the item I'm going to purchase with it. These are another item that I really like as well. It isn't, it, it's like a hard plastic and you can, you know, if you push on it hard enough, it'll slightly bend. So just know that, you know, it's not like a hard resin. This, this wine goblet or blood goblet, I guess you would call it. It was pretty cool. I actually really like this as well. I like everything really. <laughs> I mean, if I was rich, I would have bought it all. Look at how it kind of sparkles and shines. You see the, the reflection? So cool. And I know it's so morbid, but I really do like the way the blood is dripping. I don't know why. It's just so cool looking. Well, everyone, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.